Hi there, my name is Greg Snell, and in this video, we're gonna cover everything that you need to know about how to register your drone with the FAA. Let's get started. All right, and how about some of that killer drone footage to start us off? Those are just a few of the highlights of some of the footage that I've captured while operating my UAV in the field over the last few years. Now, if you're interested in capturing similar perspectives while piloting your drone safely and responsibly, then this video is definitely for you. Here is what we will learn today. First is the step-by-step -step process of how to register your drone with the FAA. We'll walk through both the recreational and the non-recreational registration on the FAA Drone Zone website on the computer in this video. The two main things to consider when registering your drone, and they are weight and recreational versus commercial. With commercial, we'll cover part 107 of the FAA regulations and how to register your drone under your company or small business name. Next is more information about the FAA Drone Zone website, additional resources from our team here at UAV Coach, and finally, where to label your drone once registered. Now it is relevant to mention quickly that this video is about how to register your drone with the FAA. That is the Federal Aviation Administration of the United States. The information presented in this video is intended for those who plan to operate and register their drone within the US. One of the most common questions we get here at UAV Coach is, do I need to register my drone? Short answer is yes, yes you do. There are two main things to consider when registering your drone. First is the actual weight of your drone, and second is if you intend to fly it recreationally or commercially. Now before we dig in to those two main considerations, I want you to know that you do not need to be intimidated by this process. It is extremely easy to register your drone with the FAA. There are only three real requirements. The first one is that it costs five bucks to register your drone. You must be 13 years of age or older, and there is only one website, one website, where you can officially register your drone with the FAA. And we're gonna go through that process right now in this video. So let's break down why you want to register your drone and the two main things to consider. First thing is weight. If your drone weighs over 0.55 pounds or 250 grams and less than 55 pounds, then you have to register it no matter what. Now, if your drone weighs more than 55 pounds, you still have to register it, but via paper, and that's done by following a different link. However, I highly doubt that your drone weighs more than 55 pounds. If it does, feel free to email me and we can start some sort of drone pizza delivery service or we can be like Casey Neistat and fly. The point is that most drones weigh over 0.55 pounds, so you need to register it no matter what. Now, DJI has shook up this weight requirement by announcing the Mavic Mini, which conveniently weighs 249 grams. That is one gram less than the 250 grams or 0.55 pounds required by the FAA to register your drone. Now, why DJI did that is because if you buy the Mavic Mini and you plan on flying only recreationally, then you do not need to register your drone with the FAA, which is exactly why it weighs 249 grams. Extremely, extremely convenient. However, it's not that hard to register your drone with the FAA anyway, and if you plan on using the Mavic Mini for any kind of commercial use, then you still have to register your drone no matter what. But at the end of the day, the weight requirement is that if your drone weighs above 0.55 pounds, then you have to register it no matter what. The second consideration for registering your drone is whether you intend to use it for recreational purposes or for commercial use. Now the two buttons here on the FAA Drone Zone website are a little confusing. You're really just choosing to register your drone recreationally or non-recreationally. Recreational or I fly under the exception for recreational flyers means that you only plan on using your drone for recreational purposes, like flying in your own backyard or at your local park or while on vacation. Non-recreationally or I fly under part 107 or as a public aircraft means that you intend on flying your drone for non-recreational purposes, such as flying a drone for hire, flying a drone for internal operations within your organization, or flying a drone for the public safety department or some sort of other government entity. I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, remember to just leave them in the comments. But we have now covered why you need to register your drone. Let's talk about how. All right, and we moved inside because how you register your drone is via the FAA Drone Zone website, which is found online. 
and it is the only website where you can register your drone yourself. This is important to mention because there is a lot of additional information on the internet where third-party websites will offer this service for you. However, we here at UAV Coach encourage you to register your drone directly through the FAA Drone Zone website. Now we've even created a detailed blog post, which is linked in the description below, which gives more information about things to look out for online. Luckily for us, it's very, very easy to register your drone with the FAA Drone Zone, both commercially and recreationally. So easy, in fact, that we're gonna go over it together right now. All right, and here we are at the FAA Drone Zone website. The URL is up in the top here, but it's also linked down in the description. And first things first, if you don't have an account, you wanna create an account. And uh, I already do have an account, but if you don't, it's very easy to create one and uh, just verify it via your email and then go ahead and log in. Once logged into the FAA Drone Zone, you can either register your drone under the Part 107 regulations, which covers all non-recreational uses, or as a recreational flyer. So what we're gonna do first is go ahead and register our drone as a recreational drone. It's really quite simple. You just wanna fill in your profile. So this is really easy to just enter your own information and the mailing address can be the same as your physical address. And it's important to remember the registration fee is $5. Make sure you acknowledge the safety guidance and go to next. And here's where you're going to enter your credit card information to pay the $5 fee for registering your drone. Once you've entered your credit card information, you simply press next. Understand that you're in the accordance with federal law and go ahead and pay. And it's that easy. Congratulations. We now have a recreational registration number. Next up, we are going to walk through registering under the Part 107 regulation. This is an absolute must do if you intend on flying your drone for any non-recreational purposes. This would be things like doing work for your department or if you're running your own drone freelancing business. Now we'll register another drone under the Part 107 registration. I want to use my existing profile information, including my physical address, mailing address, and alternate email. I'm going to use this information because I've already registered a drone under recreational use. However, if you're doing this for the first time, then you are able to select the option on the right to manually enter your Part 107 profile information. Now here is an important step of the registration process under the Part 107 regulation, and that is the account information. So this is not the applicant information, which is you yourself, but the account information is important if you intend to register your drone under a company name. So for example, in the Part 107 account name, instead of putting Greg Snell, I'm actually gonna put UAV Coach. This is the information that's gonna be seen under the account information of my registration for my commercial use of the drone. So if you run your own business and plan on using your drone to make money, then maybe you want it to be registered commercially under your business name and not your own personal name. Or if you work for a company or a department within an organization and you're looking to register the drone under that name, this is where you enter that information. Everything else is still the same, so we go ahead and proceed to the dashboard. So once we're in our part 107 dashboard and we want to add our first commercial drone. So the card is empty. We want to add a UAS, which is an unmanned aircraft system. Now, just before I enter this info, I want you guys to know that this is specifically for the drone that I own. So I'm going to enter the information that is specific to that drone. However, this is not the case with your drone. You may have a different manufacturer, maybe a different brand. You're definitely going to have a different serial number. So it's really important that you input the information for your specific drone in this section. Also, the nickname for my drone is Moto the Third, which you'll see in a second, but you don't need a nickname for your drone. Uh, if you want one, you can make up whatever you want, or you can just put the drone model here as well. So we select the type. It is purchased. Manufacturer is DJI. Model is Mavic 2 Pro. Nickname is Moto the Third. And the serial number will be unique to your individual drone. Now, where you can find the serial number is either on the box that the drone came in, or if you're like me and you have no idea where the box is, you can still find your serial number underneath the battery inside of this compartment. So the serial number is on that small little sticker right there. And it's very easy to find. And then we can go ahead and add our drone. And there is the information of the drone that we intend on registering commercially. So we just go ahead and check out. Again, it's five bucks, just like the registration recreationally. So I have read and understand and intend to follow the FAA requirements, correct? And again, we wanna enter our credit card information, use mailing address, next, go ahead and make that payment. 
And once again, it is just that easy. We have now registered under the Part 107 certificate of the FAA regulations to be able to use our drone commercially and to start making money as a pilot and an operator. So the FAA Drone Zone is where you wanna go to register your drone either recreationally or commercially. Once your drone has been registered through the process on the FAA Drone Zone website, you'll want to label your drone with that registration number. Now, as of February 25th, 2019, the US passed a law that states that all registration numbers Numbers must be visible on the outside of the drone. Now you may still have some questions and our team here at UAV Coach, we've got the answers. For example, here are some of the most common questions that we get asked at UAV Coach. The first one being, when I go to register my drone, does it need to be registered under my own personal name or can I register my drone under my small business or company name? The answer to that I kind of went over in the last section where the applicant name of the FAA registration should be your own personal name. But the part 107 certificate where it says account name, that can be your small business or your company. The second question we get asked most often is once my drone is registered, am I the only one who can fly it? The short answer to that is no. If you have a registered drone, anybody can fly it. The most important thing is, that it's registered. The next most common question we get is if my drone is registered commercially, can I fly it recreationally and vice versa? The answer to that is if your drone is registered commercially, then yes, you can fly it recreationally for fun or just as a hobby. However, if your drone is registered recreationally, then you cannot fly it to make money with the drone. You just have to re-register it as a commercial drone. If you've got any additional questions, be sure to throw them in the comments section below and we can start that conversation there. Overall though, the process of registering your drone with the FAA is incredibly easy. Once you've registered, you're then ready to fly. Also, be sure to check out the description in this video where we've got a couple links that take you to our website where there's more detailed information supporting what we've gone over in this video. Now from everybody here at the UAV Coach team, we thank you for watching, we hope you liked the video, and we are wishing you blue skies and safe flying.